these are startling. This is an expose. That's really what I'd have to describe it as. Yeah. These startling revelations from uh, from Kaspersky, this Russian cybersecurity firm. They aren't drawing a direct line to the NSA, but but they're going almost all the way, aren't they? Yeah, Kaspersky's written for a while about something that they call the Equation Group, and they've come, uh, they've documented for a long time a lot of hacks that have taken place that they've credited back to this group. They call the Equation Group, and they've tracked them sort of right next to the NSA, aligned with NSA projects, uh, certain NSA types of code. Uh, Kaspersky has come just short of calling it NSA, but uh, Joe Men and his terrific story in Reuters, uh, in fact, did in fact get someone from the NSA to confirm that this was an NSA program and have from ex-NSA people as well. Uh, and it is very disturbing. This is this is some malware that attaches itself to the hard drive and it apparently survives a military grade rewipe of the disk. No matter what you do to that physical disk, this software tends to survive. So, Corey, let's be honest. Is there any real true defense we can have against the cyber attacking when you're saying nothing can stop it? What can people really do? What can companies do? Uh, it's unclear in, in this case. I mean, this thing was just sort of outed. Again, Reuters broke the story. Kaspersky's done the work, and they haven't suggested that the, the way Kaspersky's work has gone in the past is what they do is try to identify these weaknesses and sort of turn it out there for the world, uh, the world cyber community to try to figure out the problems. What's interesting about this is that it gets almost to a physical level. You know, with the, with the second you push the on button in your computer, it fires up something called the BIOS, and the BIOS initiates the hard drive. And what's on that hard drive and the, the steps that the hard drive goes through sort of controls everything else that your computer is going to do. Now, the companies that were affected run across the gamut of all the major disk drive manufacturers, from Western Digital to Seagate to IBM to Toshiba. It is quite a list, Micron as well, uh, and, and Samsung. So this isn't just a U.S. list, but this has indeed been a problem for U.S. companies trying to sell their wares uh, across the world. Do we have any idea, Corey, at this point, whether these manufacturers are working hand-in-hand -hand with the Equation Group or the NSA, or whether they're dropping their software or the malware or firm, you know, corrupted firmware, whatever you want to call it, into these hard drives and other pieces of equipment unbeknownst to the hardware manufacturers? We don't know. At this point, I'm, I'm completely unwilling to guess because these, these revelations that came from Snowden initially and now things like this are simply amazing. And what we saw with the Snowden revelations in the PRISM program was we saw both. We saw some companies that were cooperating, some companies that were like Apple that refused to cooperate. And then we saw some companies that thought they were cooperating a little but were still getting uh, the NSA were still sort of had their, their fingers deep into the, the wells of their uh, their data. Um, what's also interesting is sort of the places where the attack, this isn't prevalent on every hard drive everywhere. Uh, if you look at the map of where Kaspersky says most of the attacks were happening or most of this malware was based, they found it in places that were targets often of the NSA, of China, of Russia, of Afghanistan, Yemen, Pakistan, Syria, uh, Algeria and Mali, places where uh, Al Qaeda is, is operative. But uh, yes, all over the world, uh, in places that have been targets of the U.S. government, you see these attacks again. They're not saying it's the NSA, uh, Reuters is, but uh, everything else the Equation Group is doing, uh, Kaspersky has said is similar to the NSA.